fixed price incentive fee contract is a type of contract where the buyer pays the seller a set amount as defined by the contract and the seller can earn an additional amount if the seller meets defined performance criteria. Fixed price incentive fee contracts establish a price ceiling and build in an incentive fee for cost, schedule or technical achievement. When the buyer is incentivizing cost performance, the buyer and seller establish a cost target, a target fee and a share ratio such as 80 is to 20 or 70 is to 30 or something similar. Cost performance below the target cost earns an incentive fee. Cost performance above the target cost means the seller relinquishes some of the target fee. When a contract has a share ratio for an incentive fee, the first number is what the buyer keeps and the second number is what the seller keeps. Both the number must total 100%. A 70 is to 30 share ratio means that if the actual cost comes in under target by $30,000, the buyer will keep $21,000 and the seller will keep $9,000. Now let's understand fixed price incentive contract through an example. Now before we go through the example, let's understand some of the key parameters associated with fixed price incentive contract. Target cost. Target cost is the cost agreed between buyer and seller for a given work. Target profit is the profit that the seller would make if target cost is equal to actual cost. Target price is equal to target cost plus target profit. Ceiling price is the maximum price that the buyer would pay to the seller for a given work. Share ratio is a ratio in which buyer and seller would share cost overruns or underruns. Now to have a better understanding of fixed price incentive contract, let's go through the following example. A fixed price incentive contract has the following parameters. The target cost is equal to $400. Target profit is equal to $40. The target price is equal to $440. The ceiling price is equal to $500. And the share ratio is 60 is to 40. The project got completed for an actual cost of $450. What is the final price? Now if you look at the, the example carefully, it is evident that there is a cost overrun. The actual cost is $450 whereas the target cost was $400. So there is a cost overrun of $50. As there is an overrun, this will be adjusted down by the seller's percentage of the overrun. Now since the share ratio is 60 is to 40, the seller's percentage is 40%. And the adjustment to the seller's profit would be 50 into 40 by 100, which is equal to $20. Now the actual profit will be equal to target profit, minus the adjustment to the seller's profit due to overrun. 
the adjustment to the seller's profit would be $20. So the actual profit is equal to $40 minus $20 is equal to $20. Now based on this, the final price will be equal to actual cost plus profit. Now the actual cost is $450 and the profit is $20. So the final price will be $470. In the same example, if we do a minor modification by changing the ceiling price to $460 instead of $500, then the final price would be $460 rather than $470 because at any point of time, the buyer will not pay beyond the ceiling price which is $460. In this example, since the actual cost was more than the target cost, the, the actual profit was less than the target profit. Now, what you can do as an exercise is, keep, keeping the data same, try to calculate the actual price and the actual profitability, assuming that the actual cost was $380 instead of $450.